Hi Gemini, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Gemini, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, okay? So this is really their reading, right? Where we kind of get real nosy about them. <clears throat> and you could be showing up in the reading, right? Definitely, because this is your person. Right here is a King of Swords. That could be you, right? This could be you, uh, Gemini. Mm -hmm. But let's see, from the Enchanted Map Oracle is Commitment, Listening, and the Magic Stream. So maybe your person needs to listen here. Maybe they could be, maybe they are listening to their own kind of intuition here or listening to their higher self. Because in the background we have musical notes, right? And uh, being a, a bit of a musician here, these are eighth notes and quarter notes. And yeah, they are. And your person, you know, this, this elephant here is kind of listening to the music of life kind of. But I feel like it is, uh, has to do with a kind of more of a higher consciousness. The magic stream says that everything is connected with the flow of the universe, which is really kind of cool, right? It talks about kind of going with the flow and listening is next to it. Uh, could be saying that maybe your person is uh, beginning, maybe they are listening to themselves <clears throat> and kind of trusting the universe and kind of going with the flow. And the commitment card is there. I'm not really sure why it's there. Maybe they want to commit to you. Uh, maybe you guys are already committed. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Maybe they are, <clears throat> this listening card, they, there could be something to do with your commitment that has to do with listening. <clears throat> and everything is one. It is connected through the universe and through the flow, the universal flow of life. So let's see what we have for your person, all right? <clears throat> right now the energy they're in is judgment. Crossing them is the five of pentacles, Gemini. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Your person could be uh, leaving, or you're leaving, either one. King of Cups, I feel like your person is a water sign, and then your future is the Knight of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me, and the Three of Wands is their, <coughs> excuse me, the Three of Wands is their emotional concerns or fears in their environment is the Five of Wands, and what they want is the Page of Swords. So what your person really wants, uh, looking at the Page of Swords, I feel like this listening card, they are trying to listen to their higher consciousness, whether that is, <clears throat> excuse me, paying attention to their dreams, listening to their intuitive, uh, their intuitive, intuitive self, <coughs> I beg your pardon, you guys, <laughs> kind of a loud gulp. Uh, because when somebody wants this, they want to know about something, the, the page of swords. I feel like your person could be listening to themselves and they could also be thinking kind of <clears throat> everything is connected for a reason and kind of like everything happens for a reason, the magic stream. And they might have learned this, being committed to you, but it looks like this to me, your person looks like they want to walk away. But let's see, maybe you want to walk away and this is what they want to know about, the Page of Swords. They could be listening also to their uh, to themselves, like to their inner soul, like right about what they need to do in a situation. Yeah. So the judgment card is there for them. Why is that there? <coughs> Excuse me. The devil. Wow. Could be a, uh, a Virgo tour. I mean, a, a Capricorn here. But I feel like your person is not in a good way here. No. Four of Pentacles. Why do they have judgment? I mean, why do they have the four of pentacles there? <clears throat> Excuse me. Your person's super overwhelmed. It's either about a decision you're making to return to somebody. You could be letting them go. This four of pentacles over here is, or maybe they're thinking of letting you go because there's somebody else here. There's like a third party here. I feel like there is. That's what I'm feeling right away. Five of pentacles, eight of cups. I feel like they're overwhelmed because maybe you are holding on to somebody and they feel like their union is coming to an end. It's like inevitable, the ending. Why does that four, seven of wands there? <laughs> Why is the seven of wands there? The knight of wands. And you could be dealing with somebody, they're overwhelmed because somebody told them something or you already made a decision to kind of let them go. 
Yeah, I feel like that's the case. I feel like here they're overwhelmed because you are making a decision to like have a reunion with somebody and they feel really stuck about it. Why is the Knight of Wands there for them? Why is that there? Six of Swords. Your person looks like they're leaving because you're making a decision to be with somebody else. Because they're super overwhelmed here, right? Nobody's gonna go have a union with somebody in this kind of uh, in this in this demeanor, <laughs> right? So it's you most likely who is like leaving to be in union with somebody else. That's how it looks here so far. Crossing them is the five of pentacles, and this is a leaving some uh, not a leaving but leaving somebody out in the cold. The emperor. And the Four of Wands. And your person too, they could feel stuck about, about like walking away from you because they think that you're going to end up giving them the axe. That could be it too. But it definitely has to do with somebody's walking away from somebody else, from somebody else, and your person is clearly overwhelmed about it. And why it's all happening for them is the Eight of Cups. This is leaving. This is walking away. Why is that there? Yeah, they're the wounded warrior here. Looking right at the beautiful woman who is like, you know, she actually, she's standing there and the other guy's walking away, right? But it is about leaving. The Queen of Swords. This is probably you, Gemini. You could be thinking of leaving and they're the wounded warrior. I feel like that's what it is. In the past is the seven or the ten of cups. I can't count today. <laughs> oh, God. High Priestess. You can do algebra, though, okay? You guys can't count, but you can do algebra. <laughs> Just teasing. Uh, high pre I can, <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> the Justice card, I, I finished algebra too, okay? <laughs> yes, I did. In college, all right? <laughs> Let's get a card on the justice card. Why is that there? So, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at this. There could be a Libra here, a Piscean, a Scorpio, but in the past, I feel like there was a secret within a marriage. Yeah, and if it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be a, a formal marriage. These days, you know, why is that justice there? These days, there's less formal marriages, right? Although there's more divorces, so get that, all right? Page of Wands. In the past, somebody, like, walked away. I think it's you. I think you walked away in some manner. Probably for a secret. So in the past, somebody could have walked away, like the third party could have left here. Because this is third party all the time and twice on Sunday, right? All day long. But in the past, a third party could have left. Yeah. Or, right, because maybe you were married, justice card. They're like, well, I'm not going to sit here and compete with your husband or your wife. Right? But this could have been you. You could have left and came back. You could have left too. Because this person's super overwhelmed. Yeah, they are. And they're the nine of, they're the nine of wands. So if they're leaving, it's because they can't deal anymore. But they're not leaving to be with somebody else. It is you who wants someone else. Right? Yes, yes, yes. CC. <laughs> CC. My sister-in-law from Venezuela. Now in Uruguay because of the situation in the world. Death card. That's how she says CC. <laughs> So let's move this over here. It's all right. mm -hmm. And the death card showing up. This is what's on their mind, an ending. They're, they're, most likely your person is the king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. What's on their mind is an ending and a new beginning in love. What's on their mind is a commitment, the one they're in and that is like fading fast. 
And a commitment that you want with somebody else, Gemini. I feel like I'm reading for you, but this is their reading. Yeah. The Knight of Cups is in their near future. Why is that there? This could be them, right? They could be the Knight of Cups because they are the king. Two of Cups. The Tower. You see, your person's in the Tower because you want someone else. Yeah, this could be an ending, too, because of, uh, because of you know, these, this Two of Cups and an offer of love, the Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups, if anybody doesn't know, is a union where two people are completely enamored with each other. Yeah, they are. Why is that enamorado, right? The Tower card, why is that there? This in the near future, enamorado. The Wheel of Fortune, okay, this is change and this is fate. I feel like your person knows the magic stream. They know that everything is connected, like, and that... Nothing kind of is circumstantial, right? Or coincidental, I should say. Not circumstantial. They are not coincidental. I feel like they feel like this is faded. This ending. There could be a Sagittarian here. There could. Wheel of Fortune. They could be in the tower here because uh, a Sagittarian could have maybe told them something. Like, hey, they're not going to stay with you. I, I know, I got this person's number. Mm -hmm. In the near future, there's a cutting of ties here. And there's a tower moment, or a tower week, or however. But this is an ending and a big shake-up and a powerful realization, the tower. And their emotional concerns is the Three of Wands. Why, why, do they, why do they care so much about the Three of Wands, right? Let's see. Star card and the Sun card. This is what they care about, right? This is what they're emotionally connected with or concerned about. I feel like they have clarity here. This is what this means. It could be a fear. They have clarity that you're letting them go. Three of Wands. He's letting the bird go. Right? To heal it with somebody. You're letting them go. They're in, they have clarity about it. Wow. Why do they have that sun card? Let's see what else we can... Why do they have the sun card? The world card. Yeah, there's going to be an ending and a new beginning. And the, the new beginning is for you and the ending is for them, right? And in their environment is the five of wands... King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords in the reverse. Ouch. So in their environment is laying down the competition. And an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is what you, this is, this is the other person. That's probably the third party. I mean, I'm not going to say probably, I'm going to say most likely. Your person looks like they're a King of Cups. So you could be wanting Gemini, an earth sign. Because this card talks about healing it, healing a broken heart or healing a third party. It's in the reverse because this is in their environment. They're concerned over here. Their concerns that the world that they know is ending. The union that they have with you is ending and that you want to be with somebody else. That's clear. In their environment is a healing. Not for them. I don't think so. And a letting go, five of wands, laying down the competition in this deck, in their environment. So they just know, this is what I'm saying, they're, they're, they know. And the page of swords is what they want. Why do they want that? Ten of pentacles. Five of cups. Wow, this is sad. They just, like, they're clear, but what they want is... I feel like they're, they're clear here that you want somebody else. They could be trying to find their clarity here. They could. Because in their desire position, they want to know about a union and their family and a really sad ending. This is making me sad. A little bit. 
Because I know a Gemini and a King of Cups. Yeah. In fact, I know two couples that are Gemini and King of Cups. Yeah. Making me a little sad here. Let, let me get a card on this Three of Swords. It may not be complete. Why is that? That's in their environment. Like the King of, of an Earth sign and a healing of, a, of like a third party. Eight of Wands. This is change in their environment and the Ace of Cups that you want. This is like you letting them go and laying down the competition. They could be wanting to know about their money. It's a possibility. Page of Swords facing the Ten of Pentacles. Or about their family if you have a baby with them or a child. Why is that Five of Wands there? Why do they want it? Five of Cups, sorry. Okay, so there this is all that this is what this is saying. This is why it's not complete. They're just conflicted about it. It's not really what they want. This is just the uh, this is the energy they're in. They're conflicted here. I felt like what they want to know is how to release themselves from this confliction. Yeah. And the sad ending. Five of Cups. So I'm going to go over to Vimeo, you guys, where all the extendeds are super affordable. So you can, you know, see all of them. We're going to talk about what your person really wants, right? But we're going to talk about, more important, what they're hiding or what you need to know about them. And the underlying energies, the challenges, how they really feel about the situation, what they're hiding and what they're fearing on Vimeo. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much for following me uh, and for, you know, watching my videos. If you guys would like to know what's going on uh, in the world right now, because not everybody is aware, no, they are not, you can go look up Dr. B-U-T-T-A-R, only go to his official channel, he's on YouTube. And uh, don't bother to make any comments back to here about me, all right, uh, about it, because it's not tarot related, but it is highly informative of, uh, you know, of what we can do right now, because they're not telling us the truth, okay? Thank you so much, you guys.